What's up YouTube? Okay, uh, another video here. And this one is on the burning of the Quran. Now this is all over the news right now. And I, you know, this is a complicated issue. But here's the thing. Why is this all over the news? Hillary Clinton came out and she gave a little press conference and she said blah 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 and then she said um, I really hope that it wouldn't get any publicity if the guy goes ahead and burns the Quran and she said something about it uh, would be patriotic not to report it I'll, I'll see if I can grab that vid I, I didn't grab it when I was watching it I'll see if I can add that or, or post a link or something uh, the fact is that it will have potentially great harm for our troops. So we are hoping that um, uh, the pastor decides not to do this. Um, we're hoping against hope that if he does, it won't be covered. <laughs> um, as a, as a, uh, as a, you know, an act of patriotism. Um, but world. Um, in the, in the environment in which we all now operate, anybody with an iPhone, anybody with a blog can, you know, put something out there which is outrageous. I mean... It's kind of like, uh, what's the term, double talk? It's like, you know, you, you say, hey, let's not report on this and let's, let's make this low key, but then you're in the spotlight uh, talking about it. And the thing is, it's not just her. I mean, I'm seeing this everywhere. So this is like the media is deciding to cover this this one in particular. Okay, so obviously this is a complex issue, and I'm I'm not gonna try and make a ten part series on religion and, and all this stuff. Um, I'm just gonna talk generally about a, a couple of points from from my perspective. Uh, the main thing is that this pastor guy is claiming that uh, Islam uh, is a very violent, barbaric, and uh, savage uh, religion or faith. And, you know, that's he's burning it sort of in protest. I guess he's associating it with the 9-11, the but whatever, tan that's a tangent. Um, the thing is that a lot of Muslims say, no, you're wrong, this is completely not the case. Uh, Islam, you know, preaches uh, love and togetherness and, and this kind of stuff um, that a lot of other religions uh, preach. But the truth of the matter is, if this guy burns the Quran and then Muslims come out and they get violent and they attack uh, this guy or if they shoot up his church, if they blow themselves up, if they even call for his uh, beheading or his stoning or something like that, well, then it proves this dude's point, you know? Um, you know, that's, that's the bottom line. In New York City on 42nd Street, uh, they had the, these militant Muslim guys and, uh, the, I, you know, haven't seen them for years, but they used to be there fairly often and, uh, they would go right in the middle on the little island at 42nd and, uh, they would just start screaming and there was one dude on the, on the soapbox and another dude would would hold a, a really big staff, and these guys were dressed, you know, all intimidating, intimidatingly, and uh, they, you know they had really nasty, angry stuff that they were saying. And in this country, it's not. I I just I cannot support the fact that we allow one group to do it, but then we frown on another group to do it, you know, and. Yeah, I mean, we just, we should frown on everybody that's saying stupid shit, you know, that's saying nasty and uh, negative stuff. We should all frown on that. We should all find it distasteful and disgusting. And that's it, you know. We have to let them be able to do it because, you know, th this is the, the freedom of speech and you know, the freedom of expression that we have in this country. Um, but I do definitely see that there's a double standard. Uh, where certain things, you know, you, you that uh, you can let slide, or or they let slide, and then, you know, something like this guy wanting to burn the Quran, everybody comes down on him like a ton of bricks. The other main point that I want to point out here is I see this logic a lot, where 
people say, well, you know, we shouldn't do this because that's going to incite the terrorists to attack. Well, you know, at what point do you say, well, okay, no, you know what, we, we can do this. It doesn't matter if we incite them to attack because, uh, you know, we need to do this. I mean, that's like a flawed argument. You know, if, if there's bad people that are out there that are going to attack or, or going to do bad things, you know, they're going to do it. You know, whenever they get it into their mind to do it, they're going to do it. So the fact of the matter is, you know, you shouldn't be fearful of, of what you do because of that. You know, it's kind of like the general policy that the U.S. has not to deal with, with terrorists, right? Like if they hijack a plane or something and make demands, the policy is, no, we're not going to give in to the demands. So it's the same thing. Whatever we're going to do as a society, we shouldn't do that because we're fearing a reprisal. We can't structure what we do based on the reprisals of uh, other people or, you know, the reactions of other people because, you know, you can, you can please some of the people some of the time, but you can't please all the people all the time, that type of thing, right? So sooner or later, you're going to piss some group off, somebody off, and, you know, they're going to they're gonna want to do something. So doesn't make sense that to me that argument doesn't make any sense uh, the other thing that I don't understand with this issue is you know we've been in Iraq Afghanistan for how many freaking years like bombing and shooting and you know drones attacking and all this stuff right so we're actively engaged in a war which in part in a, in a large part is based uh, you know, the religion of uh, Islam and everything is mixed into that. So how is it that being in a war, you know, these guys are okay, whatever. But then if you insult them by burning their holy book, well, you know, now, okay, now they're going to come out and start killing everybody. You know, where, where's the logic to that? I mean, I just, again, it, to me, it seems like a, a media hype. It seems like they're specifically putting focus on this and... Uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the pastor dude who's organizing this whole thing isn't really, you know, being uh, paid off or set up by, like, the CIA or something. I don't know. The whole thing seems kind of fishy to me. So, anyway, those are uh, just my three cents. I think it was a little more than two cents. And, uh, you know, let me know if you guys agree or not. Throw, throw some comments up there. Uh... I'm sure this will be a pretty hot topic. That's it for now. Later, YouTube.